All right, boys and girls, well, I get asked a lot, uh, Mango, who do you main? Sniper? And I say, well, no, not really. I like playing most clashes proficiently. And then they say, but you're Sniper! And I say, yeah, okay, you got me there. Uh, plus, I just uploaded a video where, you know, where I shot a hundred people's brains out. So I thought, fuck it, you know, let's make an actual Sniper video. So, check it out, son. Here's the 411 on how to be proficient. Not polite, but efficient. After this, you'll be a master of deciding who dies first, and your pub friends will laugh at you just a little bit less because you're still playing Sniper and you think you're hot shit. Okay, so you clicked on this video because you want to get slightly better at Sniper. If you want tips on how to shoot better, this ain't the video for you, so uh, go hit the shooting range, Joe. Uh, that's another time. This here is the hierarchy of headshots, the pyramid of point and shoot, the order of the optics, baby. Now, here's the situation. You're playing some map like Badwater, and you're sitting in the choke. You've got that gun lined up and charged, and suddenly the blue team decides to move all up in your line of sight all at once. The question you might ask, or you might not ask yourself, is who do I shoot first? Well, let's go over the list of who and why is going to get shot in the face in order. First up is going to be the least important target. Man, this dude is a sneaky creep. Nine times out of ten, they find a way to get up close, and uh, it's pretty much lights out unless you land a flick. Otherwise, uh, other scouts and classes can take care of him pretty easily. He usually can't get behind you if it's an actual match. Nine times out of ten. But, hope that he either runs in a straight line, or he uses his double jump to make him a predictable target in midair. Otherwise, uh, good luck with your SMG or Kukri, dude, because uh, he's going to... Fuck you up nine times out of ten. You won't really see this dirtbag unless he's behind one of your buddies or he's in the kill cam after you die. You should occasionally headshot your own teammates. They won't feel it, but the spy definitely will. Occasionally keep an eye on your engineer and your medic. The spy is going to want to be behind them in that area often. If you can prevent the spy from stabbing your NG or medic, that is a massive play that you just stopped. So be proud of yourself. They're going to have to glue you back together. This dude jumps around like a rabbit. He's dangerous, but obviously your team is taking care of him. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight between those guys up there. His projectiles travel in arcs, so you won't really see him unless he really wants to kill you. And you gotta be really blind not to notice him <laughs> coming your way. Shooting him in the eye is a courtesy to your own team, since he's a nuisance. He denies areas and is a massive power player. Deny him the denial. He's fast and he's scary. He can also manhandle your team and disrupt Ubers. He can also find your spy. Because of these facts, you should wipe him out next. It could save your team and effective Uber from being air blasted and even stop an enemy in the long run. You save your spy, your spy goes on to stab the medic. You see the butterfly effect here? Plus, he's sort of asking for it with such a shiny and stupid head. This dude is death from above. Keep your eyes on him, because in an instant he'll be flying overhead, shitting rockets into your face. My advice is to shoot him before he even sees you. He likes to spam rockets at you until you duck for cover, and it's when you take your eyes off him that he disappears and tries to surprise you. He's also a major player on the battlefield. It's wise to poke a hole in his helmet. Now we get juicy. These four guys you really want to nail. If you ever see his goggles or his helmet on the battlefield, you gotta shoot it. Without him, the sentry will fall 100% of the time. If he's out of sight, but you do see a sentry, give it a fully charged shot or some no scopes while your team attacks it. You'd be surprised how powerful the sniper is when it comes to sentries. Just take advantage of an already busy engineer and you are golden, my friend. Taking him out is even better. I am heavy weapons guy. Ah, everyone's favorite target. That fat, jiggling, blubbery Bolshevik. For how fat and funny he looks, he can jump and dodge fairly well, actually. But if he's aware of you, he is going to avoid you like a salad. I hear you talking shit about Evie. No, 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 no. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't saying huh? anything bad about that. No, 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 I wasn't. You got something to say in my face? No, it's okay. That's what I thought. Fucking backstabbing snake. Heavy's a, Heavy's a very nice, he's a good guy, he's, he's cool. Look a man in the eyes next time you want to kill him. Okay man, Fuck chill. Pussy ass motherfucker. Sorry. 
Is he gone? Is he go okay, cool. Anyways, when you see this huh? um, handsome and nice gentleman, he's gonna be a problem for your team. I mean, he's the mascot after all. Must be a good reason for that, right? He's dangerous up close, so don't really let him get that close. It's, it's easy. Two uncharged headshots to a sad heavy with no medic is enough. But if he does have a doctor, charge up your gun all the way and fire that laser into his eyeball. Otherwise, just your little uh, laser pointer is enough to make him wet his pants. He's going to avoid you nonstop. And now the second most important class to shoot is... The Medic. But wait, isn't he first? Shouldn't he be the one you always take out first, I hear you asking? Well, let's go over him first before I explain why he's second. Medics are second because they have the ability to heal and activate an uber charge. They can also assist the enemy forces by providing overheals in order to survive the brutal fight with your teammates. If he does live, everyone else lives. Think of it as cutting the enemy's kneecaps out. Striking him down resets their uber time, making yours even more effective. Long story short, if he dies, no one else will live long enough to uh, complain that the medic isn't healing them. Now, the top priority for you boys and girls is... Be efficient. Have a plan to kill everyone you meet. You! You? Uh, I, I mean your class. Sniper. Sniper is the most important target you're going to see 99% of the time. So look in the mirror and learn to hate that cute little face of yours. But why him? Just like you, he's the most dangerous class on the battlefield. Imagine all the mean things I said earlier now happening to your team. It's not so cool, is it? Huh? He's an instant killer from a mile away. If he takes you out, he's free to start picking off other classes on your team, even your medic. If he takes your medic out, well, now you're at a severe disadvantage for an uber and your team will probably lose. It's never really comfortable sniping around with an enemy sniper still alive around the corner, so you two will probably always square off before the winner gets to gobble up the loser's team. So try looking for the little laser on the walls or on teammates. Also do quickly unscope peeks around the corner where you think he is only to confirm that he is there. Otherwise it's time to play mind games and have a quick shot baby. Now here's our order once more from least to most important. Scout, Spy, Demo Man, Pyro, Soldier, Engineer, Heavy, Medic, and Sniper. Now the one and only real exception to these rules is the Medic. As we stated, the enemy Sniper is the first target you hit. But if you can confirm that the enemy Medic has an Uber, either by a friendly callout or by seeing his hands glow, you want to nail that guy ASAP. Even if it means sacrificing your own frontal load, taking down the enemy medic with a charge will crush their medic's psyche and piss off their team. Also, your own team probably would want to blow you. An invulnerable demo man or heavy is a far more dangerous opponent than an Australian, well technically a New Zealander, with a long gun and a temper. Well, you we made it to the end. Uh, thanks Ryder for popping up here for a second. <laughs> I appreciate it, it's kind of funny. And thanks to you guys for watching to the end. The channel has been slowly growing over this year, and I appreciate everybody commenting and dropping likes. So don't forget to also hit the subscription button if you want to hear more from me. All the important info on how to get in touch is in the description. And, well, I guess that's all for now, guys. I will see you later.